Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box hobby. Pick your team number 10 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got Nick Jaspie here helping us out on the Nick Cam right up there. And big thanks to all of these folks getting into it right here. We got Aaron with uh, Last Spot Mojo, Oakland A's, and there's everyone else right here. Thank you, everyone, for getting in. Sorry, Jim Gray. We were talking uh, where Ottawa was before we started this video, folks. We, we are butchering Canadian geography. Jim Gray is not pleased. <laughs> Jim Gray is like, oh, you guys are just screwing everything. Oh. That's Vancouver. I know. City of Vancouver. Yeah, I did too. Toronto is above Buffalo. Uh, are right. a lot of people in Toronto Bills fans? They're Argonaut fans. But their NFL team should be Buffalo, right? Or I don't know. Jim? Or other Canadians? Do Toronto fans default to being Buffalo Bills fans? All right, good luck, everybody. As you know, in the hobby, two Chrome autographs per master box. Oh, they are. Jim says yes. Makes sense. Bill's Mafia. All right. And, and F those alouettes, right, Jim? The Montreal Yeah, do we not like those? I think, I think we do. I don't know. No, I don't like them. Yeah, screw them. I'm a, um, what is it? The... Saskatchewan Rough Riders. <laughs> There's Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Are they really called that? What's, what's the Saskatchewan team? I'm not. I'm that fan. Wow, Vernon Adams is killing it for Montreal in the CFL. He was with the Seahawks. I never made it. Guess not. Oh, these are easy, though. Oh, yeah, they're pretty nice. Everyone watch, did everyone watch that 19 inning game last night? Cardinals at Diamondbacks? The Rockies game? The Rockies went to 16. That went to 16. The Diamondbacks team went to 19 innings. Yes, Saskatchewan is Rough Riders. I knew oh, it. Oh, wow. There you go. I'm a Rough Riders guy. Oh, that's too soon, William L. Is that too soon? It's been yeah. a while. Is he well, still there's alive? there's a Netflix show out, so then it, oh, then, then then it brings it back. It brings so. it back, so you can't joke about it. Come on, Netflix. Out of 4.99, Hansel Moreno. It's called Manhunter on Netflix. It's a creepy show. I still Pretty need to see the other murder show, The Making of a Murder. Yeah, I never I'm, watch, I'm not a huge murder guy. <laughs> no, not, a, not into murder? No. That's a good thing. Chris Davis to four ninety nine. Like, Not about the true crime. Like I shows. know, every, like Serial. That's like the biggest podcast in the world. Yeah, I, I heard. Yeah, it's, people love the true crime. There's Geraldo Perdomo, speaking of the Diamondbacks. The I also had the Diamondbacks plus 177. <laughs> so I was now up until like 2 a.m. watching that GD game. The Diamondbacks and the Cardinals just missed so many opportunities to just finish off that game. Females like the murders. Why do they like? I don't, I don't know. There is there is something behind that. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, uh, Ryan McKenna to ninety nine Green Wave, but we're not a social not, not a sociology yeah. show, so <laughs> we'll save that for the other the other show that we have on our other channel, folks. The view. There's Lewis Brinson to ninety nine. The Jasper view. Jaspie, the view from Jaspie's? Yeah. View, view from Pier Avenue and PCH? Nobody knows women better than two guys. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> right. That's the tagline of the show. <laughs> out of 250. That could be a good sketch. Good comedy sketch. 19 out of 250. Nick Green for the Yankees. That goes to Dennis Genders. And we'll sleeve and top load all those parallels um, later on. Our shipping team will take care of that just in the interest of time.
Well, yeah, Mahomes is regressing this year, so it's not good anymore. He's having a worse year than last year, so he's not good. Patrick Mahomes? Yeah, Patrick Mahomes is garbage. He's, he's regressing. He's totally regressing. What, only 40 touchdowns this year? 6,000 yards, maybe, but... And you know who is a total tool is your Dodgers rider, Nightingale? Bob Nightingale? He's not a Dodgers rider anymore. I thought he was. Oh, uh, maybe for MLB.com. He said, oh, why Bregman should win over Mike Trout? What? Because, like, archaic stats, like batting average, he has more of. Archaic stats, I'll tell you. So he wants just, like, WRC plus to be, like, the only thing? I guess. I don't know. Joey but Gallo Meanwhile, Mike Trout has more home runs and, and uh, better... And Bob that. Nightingale's just trying to get clicks. Get out of here, Bob Nightingale. But a lot of people say Bregnish. It's because of the whole winning team. There's Eli it's White. Stupidest argument in baseball. There should just be two different if awards. If Bregman was on the Angels, they'd have the same record or worse. Right. And if Trout was on the Astros, they'd oh have a God. better record. Trout would destroy in that lineup. Eli White going in, going to uh, Brandon with the Rangers. Patrick Sandoval to 250, purple. I, yeah, I don't like this. He doesn't like the Angels. He always throws shade at him. Yeah. Like, Socha didn't give him an interview one year, and he's yeah. just like... I think he's just Dodgers. And it's a Rangers box. It's Mason Engelert for uh, Brandon and the Rangers. Laughing, but we'll have Garrett Cole next year and Joe Adele, so we'll be fine. Pool holes. We'll be back. Better than ever. May need like three Garrett Coles. Just give pool holes whatever. Four ninety nine. Leonardo Jimenez. Brady gets like the blood transfusions from his sons. Yeah. Is what Brady yeah. Does. Why can't pool like and just, like Brady like eats unicorns. Yeah. And like doesn't eat tomatoes. Right, which is kind of weird. Come on, Albert. Out of 150, get on. yeah. Imagine get on, get Albert, on. If he had like a 2006 season. Get on TB12, Albert Pujols. Right? Get on TB12. Yeah. Like just like, oh, hi, I'm Tom Brady. Here's unicorn blood for you. Drink that every day, Albert Pujols, and you'll get younger, just like me. Is it, but isn't batting average kind of just like an outdated, a little bit? I mean, it's it's a pretty good like, measure. Is that your is that your MVP? But that is, guideline? no, but it's not the only thing. Yeah. Moises Gomez with the Rays, Jacob and Hanks. He had more like RBIs. Well, yeah, he's got a ten times the better team. Yeah. So oh, RBIs, RBIs is definitely archaic though. You got to get RBIs out of there. That doesn't mean anything. He had, that's what was one of his things. That Bregman has more RBIs. Yeah, because yeah, Bregman's on a better team. More runs. He probably hits top closer. To this guy, well, who does he have ahead of him? He's like Meanwhile, Jordan Alvarez hits ahead of him. He's always on base. Trump on base is like 20 points ahead Mark of him. Trumbo to 499. But you got got though. That's exactly what Bob Nightingale wants you to do. <laughs> yep. Now we've given five minutes to Bob Nightingale. I thought he was the, the main Dodgers guy. I think he was with the LA Times for a long time as a Dodgers beat writer. There's Luis Garcia. For the Phillies, that's going to be for Darren McKenzie. All right, there's Cam Rogner. The, these purple shimmers are not numbered, but obviously they will ship. In fact, everything ships in this, ladies and gentlemen, because they're all either prospects or rookies or inserts, and there's just so few vets in here. That's right, Tom Brady is, is like the portrait of Dorian Gray. There is a one-of-one one sketch out there that just gets older and he just gets younger. But he never wants you to see it. Eli Wyatt, or he'll take the magical powers away. Brandon with the Rangers. A lot of Rangers thus far. And there's... Uh, Miker Adolfo to 58 out of 50 for the White Sox. 
That's gonna Robert? be for Jacob Hanks. What? Is it Luis Robert or Robert? I think it's Robert. I don't know. That's how I've been saying it. Plus, I learned from next year. It's gonna be a rookie, I think. He's pretty good. And there's Keston Hira. He's pretty good. Thirty-six out of one hundred and fifty for the Brew Crew. Hannah Giotis with the Brewers. Nice rookie autograph. From UC Irvine, of all places, ladies and gentlemen. That's not a baseball school. I think it is. But they produced a first rounder. I think it's the first first round they produced. Oh. That Jared Weaver is Jared Weaver sounds like he went to like San Diego State. There's a Hans Kraus to four ninety nine. Are you see San Diego and San Diego State rivals? No. You see San Diego is like Division Three. Oh, okay. Maybe like two in like women's soccer and like basketball or something like that. Division Admin. Two, water polo Division Two. Out of one hundred and fifty, Nick Green, another Nick Green for Dennis and the Yankees. Yeah, San Diego State's pretty good at that athletics thing. Yeah, they do all right. Nice blue Nick Green to 150. You think, yeah, Long Beach State is probably good at like, I think Long Beach State is good at baseball. They're tradi Cal State Fullerton, good, UCLA. good baseball school. UCLA is a good baseball school. USC, good baseball school. Out here in Southern California, anyway. Corey Kluber to 499. Bakersfield. Bakersfield? Yeah, Bakersfield. What's the other one? Um, what's the other UC school that's kind of? I don't know. If, I don't know if Berkeley has a good pro baseball. They have Can good you name football. Every UC school. Yeah. UC San Diego, home of the Tritons, right? Then there's UC Riverside, home of the don't know what the home, they're home, the home of. UC Irvine, Ant Eaters. UC LA Bruins. UC Santa Barbara, home of the Gauchos. UC Santa Cruz, home of the Banana Slugs. I think UC Merced is a new one. I don't yeah. know what. I don't is know it what. Modesto or Merced? It's either Modesto or Merced. I don't know what. I don't know what happens Maybe. there. Yeah, I don't know. And then UC Berkeley. I, know I think you're missing. UC Berkeley, uh, another bear. There's Nick Madrigal too. Am I missing one? Yeah, there's like a. I remember. UC Davis is above Sacramento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what lo what team what like their mascot is. I didn't miss any. San Diego, Riverside, Irvine, Merced LA. Is one. UC Merced. San Francisco, you didn't say. That's like a graduate school, though. Well, so? No one counts that. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, UC, there's like a UC San Francisco, but I think there's, it's only like for graduate programs, I think. Wait, who are the Aggies, G-State Doves? Did you is, say UC Davis? UC Davis is the home of the Aggies? Kind of an agricultural school, I guess, yeah. Davis. North of Sacramento, I think. There's Michael King. Yeah, um, Keelan Doss. You went to Davis, right? Yeah, I don't know where Merced is either. I thought there was one in, like, Channel Islands. That's what I remember. Santa Barbara. You see Santa Barbara. There's Casey Mize, big Tigers prospect at four ninety nine. Pete Alonzo yeah. will save some of those. Really cool. Oh, it's southwest of Sacramento? Okay, because Davis is a little southwest. John Sanderson just dunked on you. <laughs> Do we drive in our own state, John Sanderson says? Nah, man. Teslas drive themselves. Duh. Come on, John Sanderson. Yeah. I, I, I fall asleep in the Tesla. I wake up and I'm like, oh, here's the Ritz Carlton in San Francisco. Done. We did a lift and it came up as an autonomous. Telmedo Augustine. Yeah, like self driving. There's someone John Samuelson with the Nationals. In Las Vegas. Yeah. Like the whole city has like 60 of them. That's John Samuelson, we. I think that's a big one, too. Uh, is he the next big thing? Yeah. Where did go, John Sam? It's the next big thing. I remember s someone saying that. That's where Dom was going to eat like Salzburg. 
Yeah, and the guy for the Mariners. So. Oh, yeah. Marte. Marte. Alright, next one, one right here. So each stack will represent a box. I'm going to slide these over to Nick. Alright, we're almost done, folks. See? We'll breeze through this guy. 250, Wenzel Perez. It would be too much to ask, Dennis. Sorry, because if... If I give you one, then I gotta give Matt Gomes one. Then actually, Matt Gomes is in Long Beach. He can just drive up and grab one, actually. But if you're local, yeah, we usually give them away to the kids around here or whoever comes in and says, "Do you guys have any extras?" We usually do that. Otherwise, I'm afraid we do not. Oh, that guy's good. The next album. And we've got for the Rockies, Vavra. That's Taryn Vavra for the Rockies. Michael K. Like Wait, who did? He sold for a lot in our five. Oh, this guy? Yeah, like 400 bucks or something. Wow. All right, there you go, Rockies. Michael Necht. Trevor Story, they might not pay. But yeah, because they were saying, like, it just says... Well, they, got, they, have, they have replacements for everybody. They got replacements yeah. for Arenado. They got, got, um, they've got such too. a... Yeah. There's Adbert Alzale to 150. Um, Rockies are kind of loaded, but they never do anything. No, they've got all sorts of guys that can replace all those guys. Like Brendan Rodgers. Where's, where's Brendan Rodgers? You know, he's been a prospect forever, so he's, they got to make room for him. Colton Welker, they got to make room for him. Taryn Vavra is number seven on the Rockies list from, on MLB.com. you got to make room for Ryan Vallad. Is another it's guy a, that we've been seeing Ramel forever. Tapia, did he ever do anything? Yeah, he's hitting right. He's he's playing right now. Yeah, yeah. he starts. You know, they should just clean out that team. Yeah. And just start over. Guys, you guys, what are the Cubs gonna do? There's Albert Alzale right there. Joe Madden's not to 150. I'm, I'm really hoping Joe Madden comes to the Angels. They, they gotta blow up that team. Like fire Brad off. some people on MLB Network talking like maybe you trade Chris Bryant while that value's still there before you have to pay him. Would you do that? I don't know. That those that Darvish contract and the Kimball. Kimble that Kimball contract, contract is idiotic. They're both so bad. Pete, Pete Alonso to 99, at least, green. At least Darvish pitched That's better. for the Mets. That'll be for Mary Lou. Darvish had a good second half, but still a third amount of money. And for the Astros, that's going to go to EA. That's uh, Abraham Toro. And then Darvish was like, oh, it's because you guys aren't nice to me. Like that. <laughs> oh, welcome. That's professional sports, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's 2019. No one's nice anymore. Lucky now. <laughs> Back then, they're probably worse. There you go. Nice. I don't know. Cubs may have to make some big changes, ladies and gentlemen. The you, like well, yeah, I think, yeah, they did. Nationals clinched. I mean, why not just move Kyle Shore, well, or move they, everybody? They said Joe Madden's not returning. So. Yeah, Joe Madden's not coming back. Just because that they didn't create that dynasty that they thought they were going to create. Yeah. Just, yeah. No, but they've got so much like, young talent coming up the ranks. So there's really Danny Chance into one four ninety nine. Mike yeah. Tower says my uncle was drafted by the Giants in the thirty third round, the nineteenth set. Does he have a baseball card? Golden Uncle, West College. I think my uncle was drafted. He's in the UCLA Baseball Hall of Fame. That's right. Danny Diaz. I don't know what round that's on. Goes to Ryan Owens in the Red Sox. There's Michael Adolfo again. So I need to buy a new table. What's that? I need to buy a table. No, no, no. We're, we're, we're buying a smaller cart that'll just wheel in right here and just keep all my stuff there and then it just wheels out to the shipping area. Boom. You better have me buy the cart. Uh, we, no, we already got Jackie got it off of the off of view line. It's like that. MT's not until Friday. It's like that except smaller but taller. I think there's three levels, but it's smaller. 
Did we get pro assembly added on there? We did not get pro assembly added on there. I'm, I'll assemble it myself so the wheels are in the right spot. Um, that goes to Levon Soto. So it doesn't wheel the wrong way. It reels, yeah. That. It's like putting on a steering wheel. <laughs> Levon like, Soto. Backwards. It's like real, real, re, rear wheel drive yeah. instead of like front wheel drive. Which is very cons confusing if you're not used to driving that kind of car. Yeah, I don't know, a Jeep or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, like a mid 80s sports car. All right, next one, folks. No baseball card, decided not to turn pro, I see. Yeah, I heard that too. David Ross, next Cubs manager. Get him out of ESPN or MLB yeah, Network, ESPN. Or ESPN. Little League World Series coverage. And no more David Ross. And it's just going to be what? Just Tim Kirchin? Yeah. And uh, Buster Only. On Buster the Only? The Why don't they ever put Buster Only in the booth? I feel like he'd be he, he'd be fun in the booth. I don't know. Maybe he likes it down there. That'd be kind of... I wouldn't want to be stuck in the booth, I guess. Could he have A-Rod there now? I suppose so. There's uh, is, uh, Israel Pineda for the Nationals. Another one for John Samuelson. All of a sudden, like, everyone in the planet, like, stopped hating A-Rod as soon as he came in yeah. And like forgot that he did steroids and lied about it and stuff. Right. And like yells at people running around the bases like yeah, he's 10 years I old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tries to slap baseballs out of people's hands. That's like Manny Ramirez. Remember he threw the like 70 year old press secretary down the stairs oh, yeah, and started. He started the next day. Nolan Gorman. Like that's baseball back then if you're so good. Like 50. Like... And that's only like 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. We'll be having Joe Buck at Jaspies for signings? No. No Joe Buck, no Chris Conley. I kind of like Joe Buck. I like Joe Buck when he does football. Remember he had an HBO show? Did he really? Yeah. Had like three episodes. And there's uh, Jeffrey Del Rosario for the Royals. That's 99. The first I don't like Joe Buck baseball. Is with like Artie Lang, and it's like one of the craziest things on HBO history. Really? Yeah. You should watch the video. All right, and that is for Matt Gomes and the Royals, who just finished saying not one auto, Joe. See, the complaining does work. All right, yeah, you got to play the whistle, Matt Gomes. Come on, man. There's Grant Levine to 499. We're saving those Tim Tebow's for you. Uh, I mean, everything ships, but we'll get those some of those sleeved, Mary Lou, because someone was saying, like, even Tim Tebow, like, parallels have been going for a lot on a secondary market out of here. Does Tim Tebow make it to the majors, ladies and gentlemen? No? No? He would have made it this year. Does Tim Tebow start? Tim Tebow doesn't start in the majors, right? You don't think he ever makes it? That's a really bad match. There's Austin Warner for the Cardinals. That'll be for Matt Gomes as well. Man, two in a row. I mean, he's hitting... Uh, I guess that's not good. 273 in like single A or double A. No, triple A, maybe. Double A? I don't know. They're kind of pedestrian numbers. They're okay, I guess. They would do it if, like, they he was born in 87. Like Could be... Eos is not a chance. Not even, like, 25th man on a roster? 40th man on a roster? Out of 250, there's Nick Green Purple. There's Luis Urias to 499 for the Padres. That'll be for Patrick K. I guess that's true, Yo. Yeah, that's what Nick just said too. He was just like, if anything, it'll just be publicity. He'll just try to put butts in seats kind of thing. There's Durbin Feltman for Ryan Owens and the Red Sox. I wonder why didn't they just bring him up like now, Yo? Like why not just get him on the roster? 
I don't know, maybe then you have to actually put them on the 40-man roster, so maybe they don't want to do that. All right, two boxes to go. That one and that one right there. Out of 499, we got Tony Santolin. And there's Bryce Harper. Nationals edition of Bryce Harper. That's the 75. Arizona Fall League alumni. That'll be for John Samuelson and the Nats. I guess the Nationals didn't need Bryce Harper after all. Tuki Toussaint to 499. And we got Cam Rogner, Rowan Gardner, Rogner, Rowanheiser. That's for Panagiatis and the Brew Crew. We got Orange Genesis Cabrera to 25. We got Rowdy Tellez to 150. 91 out of 150. There's uh, Campusano, Purple Shimmer for the Mets. And another Nick Green autograph for Mary and, no, check that, Dennis and the Yankees. Sorry, Mary Lou has the Metropolitans, not the Bronx Bombers. All right, and the last box coming up. There's Jorge Mateo to 99 for the A's. There's Clayton Kershaw to 250. Some concerns in LA about Clayton Kershaw. Lately, latest starts. And we'll see how they do in the playoffs. Be an October full of stress for me, once again. For the Tribe, there is Brian Rocio for Patrick and the Indians. Number nine Indians prospect. Indians, Indians will need to do some work in the offseason, too. There's Joey Bart, Purple Shimmer. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Arizona Fall League card. And the last autograph is going to be a Metropolitan, or no, I'm sorry, a Blue Jay, 259 out of 499, or Elvis Martinez. And that will be for Chad Wright with the Bluebirds. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Big thanks to Nick for the help on this. We breezed through Hobby Pick Your Team 10 of 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball in record time, under 30 minutes. We've got HTA in the store, ladies and gentlemen, so check that out. Full case HTA on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.